Welcome to this video on creating stories. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Tableau public authors use services in many different ways to tell their data stories. Some publish individual worksheets with single charts and distribute them throughout their articles or blog posts. Others tell the whole story within one large dashboard, where they assemble different worksheets, where they add text, images, and even web elements like videos. Yet others like the option of displaying the different sheets of a workbook as tabs. Another way to tell a story is to use what are called story points. This allows you to assemble different worksheets and dashboards as a presentation that the user can click through. In Tableau, create a new story by clicking on the new story button with the little book icon. Then simply drag your existing sheets or dashboards onto the story. Tableau creates a new tab in the navigator bar for each story point and we can give these meaningful titles. We can use separate charts, as we've done here, to tell your story or you can use different versions of the same chart. So I can include another version of my world map and here we can for instance highlight the country with the largest CO2 emissions per capita. By clicking update above the tab we can save this particular state for this story point and we can give it a meaningful name. In a similar fashion, we can put the focus on Qatar in this line chart. Again, we click update to save this state for this particular story point. Lastly, we might want to add text boxes to explain our choices and to narrate the story. Now we can look at this in full screen mode and we can see that we have a short three point story viz that gives an overview of global per capita CO2 emissions, highlights which country has the highest emission rates and then shows in more detail 
how CO2 emissions have changed in their country over time. Here we are using a very commonly used storytelling technique called drilling in. Start with a big picture and then focus on an interesting data point. Another technique often used by journalists would be to do the opposite. Start with a particular case and then zoom out to draw more general conclusions. You might want to experiment and use what fits your story best. Now, of course, compelling stories need to look pretty to attract the reader. So in the next video on formatting stories, we'll show you how to improve the look and feel of this story point piece.